Good day! Welcome to my research video presentation. I am Ms. Rafferty M. Garil, a language teacher from Buhata National High School Senior High School Department, also a student of Doctor in Philosophy, major in language education at Swaziland State College School of Graduate Studies for this academic year 2020 to 2021. This research video presentation is presented to our very own professor, Mrs. Cheryl A. Silva, Doctor in Philosophy. This is entitled, Language Health and Innovation of Future Entrepreneurs Online Business Amidst the Pandemic. Let me give you a brief information in the school and current facilities of the Buhata National High School. The school was first established as the of the National High School Extension on the year 2004 with Mrs. Selma O. Chicago, its very first school principal. It became Bohatan High School in the succeeding year of 2005, then finally became Bohatan National High School on the year 2011, and currently being led by our very own principal, Mr. Benjamin M. Villarreal. Now let's move on to the presentation of this research. The presentation includes the following. The introduction, the objectives, materials and methods, results and discussion, and of course, the conclusions and recommendations. Language has a vital and inevitable role in our society in general. It is the heart of communication in various aspects of human life. In connection to this, Social media could be changing or even enhancing the role of life. As a means of global communication, social media platforms such as Facebook have given the language of today and the future to observe language development and research online. The researcher, yours truly, sees an linguistic style and the creative use of language to respond in a given context. In our status quo, where there are existing new normal practices, we cannot discount the role of language. Teachers, more importantly, are engaged for online businesses to cope with the new normal. These online businesses employ linguistic styles and innovation which is the part of these. So these are the theories and frameworks that have guided the research. According to a journal on social linguistics by Kaliba Company, Different types of human social activities are served by different functional language varieties. Dialogue being the most common form of social interaction. The research emphasized through this the implication of context and linguistic style for and development. Also, according to data from 1950, the act of communication is the process of exchange of meaning in particular situations. It distinguishes various components of the communication, wherein the communication is made between the participant, the addresser who is the person who speaks, and the addressee that is the person who receives the information. Also, according to Chambers and Schilling, 2013, stated language is an efficiency evolving system, and linguistic innovations of different kinds are continuously created. Also, according to them, new variants originate in concrete communicative situations with particular species. That after being introduced, some of them are adapted by other speakers belonging to the same community and possibly spread until they begin to communicate more. Specifically, the Diocene to the Eleven conducted a research on language styles of advertisement in Taoko. The result of this study shows that there are five categories of language styles in the advertisement according to him. They are used narrative style, dramatic style, news style, dialogue style, and the new human style. These are the underpinning frameworks of the research that have given a color to the argument that will be presented on the next slide. This study identified the linguistic linguistic styles of innovation by the future entrepreneurs in use of their online business. And specifically, it seeks answer to the following questions. One, identify the language style of innovation 
continue in the online business effort. Second, analyze the advantages and disadvantages of the online business to the future entrepreneur. And lastly, explain the role and significance of language to the future entrepreneur to our staff. Let's now talk about the materials and methods. This study utilized to study in this site. Since this study will look at the language and computer linguistic communication context, an appropriate methodology to gather the data is methodology and individual version. According to Cosmetics 2003, methodology is used to study people's social activities and encounters into the internet and through other technological means of communication. Since the future entrepreneur is using Facebook as the platform for social media interactions and his or her business, the, the, the methnographic method is applied by gathering his personal tools relative to the study process. It is supported by an interview and if the responders with given general questions targeting the study subject. Posted advertisements were thematically analyzed for any language found or in The researcher came up with different classifications of language styles that are possibly used for the research and There is one respondent in this study that is the respondent which has an existing online business in the month of April 20th. The respondent is posting or advertising twice or thrice a month his or her online business. The posts to be used or the posts that are being used are those stated in the English language and any words that can be considered as a linguistic innovation, i.e. words that were formed through a social context and current role. The respondent is posting directly from his or her personal account and even in an online business. Here we are with, with the research results and the discussion of the first that address the first objective which is identify the language style and innovations used in the online business advertisement by letter A presenting the randomly selected online answers. For example, these are the posted advertisements by our respondents. Nowadays we have to be extra vigilant aware of face masks to guarantee your safety. COVID Another one, why settle for super expensive face masks if you could avail our budget friendly offer? Be extra vigilant and extra practical. Comment below if you are interested. Are you tired of the Hana Buy with Marley products to have the body you are dreaming of. Let's help you can testify no longer a Hana Always on the go. Keep these essentials wherever you go, budget friendly and handy. He also has this one. Hanggang sa naol ka na lang ba? To be sexier and at the same time hotter, try our scenty barley para sa achieve na achieve na healthy body. For more details, check. Another one, be positive in life and negative from COVID. Avail, avail this bag of handy circles to your pandemic. Stay tuned and marami nagmamahal sa iyo. So these are just samples or only selected online addresses advertisements of our comments. There are a total of 16 advertisements that were covered and those were grouped on our second presentation based on their language type. Now we have the grouping and classification of language styles of innovation used for the online advertisements. These styles were classified to go to 1965 in his advertising method, media, and style article. So the table that are being presented to you are divided into the linguistic styles or innovations, and opposite to it are the words or statements that, were, that came from the posted advertisements by our response. So for example, we have here the irony, the chemical, or words, and the compounding. So the table shows that the use of candy words are commonly accepted by the respondents. It shows that these words were the famous 
with that I use by the common people in all ages that have innovated from their friends' content. That they, the word sana all, mag-blow up to their friends, their latest results, mapapahashtag, click na click na panala. So we consider them sending words of faith. According to the respondents, these words are catchy and the people who find Christian that is why she frequently sees this in her advertisement. These are also the words that are used repetitively in this. So to begin, for her products to be easily accepted, she is also using those We also have here the compound words, which are we think just like the other linguistic styles in our innovations that are easy are just some of the basic features of language learned in an academic, like the use of imperative, adjectives, making rhymes, repetitive numbers, and even that irony as the figurative language. This style, according to the respondent, can easily be utilized especially to her as a language teacher, since these are language styles are also the same thing that she is teaching to her students and her students are also learning from her. So these are two the technicalities of language that are learned in a typical language classroom are of great use in real life scenarios. Maybe not now, but maybe in the next future of our students. Also we have here uh, another classification of the posted advertisement of our respondents. We have the in a file. A word, rhyme, and imperative. Again, these are the basic, only a basic feature of language that are being used creatively in the real life. And we also have here creating a slogan, second person pronouns, suggestive predicate, as also language styles being used by our respondents. Like, for example, so slogans created which are inspired from our present status quo. This is the pandemic are also very effective according to respondents because it appeals to the emotions and creates strong conviction to the target bias. Like for example, the mask and our uh, deep passages in life and negative from COVID, so that is really very interesting and it really sparks interest to the reader and the uh, soon to be customers of our respondents. There are also here uh, prices set of poor quality so these are really going back or going to the grassroots level of the Philippines now and we know we are all suffering and alive. So the second second person for not pronounced the predicative are also basic features of language used creatively and practically in the following advertisement of our standard. In this table, common words are also used by the respondent in their activities. To believe that as a language teacher, that this kind of accident sounds relatable, especially when you're targeting a specific group of people such as teenagers. Really words like canning for more, why but I use one, here na ang sabor for this relationship goes here. These are the words that you can commonly hear from the teenagers, and I think that is really relatable for them. And our respondent is really intelligent in using those words to attract customers, especially to you. Also, we have their appeal to emotional signifying. So, this is very effective according to the respondent because it makes her consumers uh, buy her product because she was also trying to convince them in a light way by appealing to their emotions. So that is one of the language styles that, according to our respondent, very effective to be used in his or her online business. We also have here use of adjectives and again a basic feature of language that are being used practically by our respondent. Adding more substance to my research are the following discussions and its supporting tools. So the data presented video that a teacher entrepreneur can easily pull out different styles of advertising since a teacher, maybe not in general, possesses good communication skills. According to her, language is intended to inform, to persuade, and even to entertain, and that's exactly the core in every advertisement she is creating. Uh, so these 
notion is supported by Zara 2011. He describes that there are five styles of language, uh, namely consult consultative, casual, deliv deliberative, oratorical, and intimate style. It was also supported by Haika 1982 by saying that style also acts as a set of instructor. We manipulate others with style, even we are manipulated ourselves, whether it consciously or unconsciously. For example, in the case of our respondent, she believed that some of the language styles that she utilized were unconsciously coming from her. Next is the researcher believes that the language style or innovation present in the respondent's advertisement are just like what I've already, already mentioned a while ago. These are just typical basic forms of language in the academy that are just being applied in real world depending on the context given. So it is supported by Dare 2004 when he argues that styles not, do not only some of the same linguistic traces in pattern of both regional and social dialect differentiation, but they also display correlations with other social factors. And the researcher believes that these social factors truly help our respondent to forward his or her online business. Now we are in our second objective, which is Analyze the advantage and disadvantage of the online business to the future entrepreneur. Internet is widely used innovation nowadays. It performs different human goals and purposes which make it more accessible and comfortable to utilize for many of us. Also, internet marketing has boomed in recent years. Most companies have used it mainly for advertising or promoting corporate services, according to Seiyang 2000. And also according to Peterson 1997, marketing activity is put through three types of channels, distribution, transaction, and distribution channels. Now, according to our respondents, these are the following advances of online business. One, online platforms are more accessible to the target consumers. Two, features are known to many so it is easy to convince buyers. 3. Teachers know how to talk and communicate well in different ways. And of course, next, multitasking is achievable since it is not that time consuming to advertise and sell products online. And lastly, she also added that through online platforms, she gained more buyers than relying on her physical store. Similarly, a study entitled Advantage and Disadvantages of One Click Purchases. On the year 2017, by Elvira Jacobson revealed that the most common advantages with the method was it is fast, smooth, easy, and time efficient. However, on the other side, the disadvantages were more varying and included cons such as uncertain, unreliable, risk taking, speech hacking, fraud, and identity hijacking. Despite of the good things about online business, its downside cannot be controlled. The respondent believes the following disadvantages of online business. One, each entrepreneur is judged and criticized as someone who neglects his or her duty because of selling products. And two, more open to unsolicited product judgment. Three, extra careful when creating ads, i.e. grammar or sentence construction construction and for more appealing to Boeing but Sufficient internet services needed also and extra effort and time for cash on delivery transactions or data. Online shopping experience can be experienced in many ways depending on the consumer and other factors such as on the services and products, personal relationships and social context that is according to Trevenal and Stenger 2014. Also, the experience or perceptions of online shopping, which is part of online business, can also depend on the age of the consumer, social networks, parental guidance, and peer influence according to Tycoon 2017. So these are the factors that the respondents have considered enough 
so that her his, her online business will be pursued even amid the pandemic. Now we are in our last and third objective, explain the role and significance of language to the teacher, entrepreneur, and to our staff. To begin with, well, argues that language and advertisement has a creative concept to present a message to the reader or to the audience. In addition, an advertisement as a tool of selling a product should offer an object to the society using many styles of language to get successful in business aspects. The style refers to the way in which language is used in a given context, by a given person, for a given person, and so on. According to our respondent, in response to this objective, language matters and is always important in expressing our ideas, especially nowadays. Also, for her, in our present situation, language must be used carefully. Language should be used to develop interpersonal relationships at home and at work. In our present time, she added, the respondent believes that language unites people and connects people. She also believes that language is the core of her online business. It has been the way in forwarding her best interest that is selling her product to a large audience. It is with language and its creative use that she is able to connect with people, especially through social media platforms. This is supported also by Chaika, 1982. She says that language style is the way people use the language in communication. It can be written or oral language. Language style actually refers to the selection of linguistic forms to convey social or at artistic effect. Just like what I have discussed in our previous slide, the basic features of language are being used practically in the real life scenario, and that is what we mean by social language. Here we are now at one of the most significant parts of the the conclusion. Based on the findings and the discussions that we have in our previous slide, these are the conclusions. Language styles and innovations used by teacher entrepreneurs in her own investment were reflected from our status quo. A teacher entrepreneur has the advantage to identify and use effectively these language styles as she is more exposed in the language than a typical entrepreneur. The teacher entrepreneur consciously and unconsciously manifested different language styles in her advertisement. Thus, the context usually dictates without reinforcing it the type of language to be used to be in that context. So it will just come naturally from someone because the context is, context, context is there and you just have to creatively use that context to find the best language to pursue your best for our objective number two, these are the following conclusions. Online business amid the pandemic can be an opportunity or a threat to business owners, especially to a teacher entrepreneur. The advantages can be used to overthrow the downside, wherein the latter is unavoidable but can still be treated. Language style used can lessen destructive comments regarding the product sold if the entrepreneur knows the appropriate style or communicative strategy to be utilized. For our objective number two, the following are the conclusions. Language has a bigger role play outside a language classroom. However, one should learn how to use it effectively to specific target audience. Although language is a powerful tool, exchange especially this pandemic, I believe that it is also the same language that could create misunderstanding and chaos if not used appropriately in a given time and context. Just like in our research, there were disadvantages like destructive criticism, maybe because the language is not being used effectively. Lastly, language choice to convey specific messages with the intention of convincing people, particularly the consumers, in the context of online business is vital. 
As a language teacher, I believe that this research may contribute to the notion on how relevant language is our everyday life. Since online community is too loud now, the use of language in whatever purposes we want and need can be of great help. The following recommendations were made and carefully analyzed based on the conclusion the future entrepreneur should maximize her potential in learning varied language styles that best suits her consumers. Since, of course, she is a teacher and also to some future entrepreneurs that we know nowadays. If our students know that we are effectively using the language, basically they will be motivated to learn more about the language because they know that in the future, they can also do it. Second, one should come up with better strategies through his or her basic skill and communication. So everything begins in the basic. Once you know the basics, like you know the basics in language, maybe for example, the English language. So later on, you will be surprised that consciously or unconsciously, you are using it creatively to your own purpose. Since language is dynamic, so as the society that we live in, we, or the official entrepreneurs, should adjust actively to these changes. So, there are a lot of changes that are surrounding us. The academy, uh, the, the students are experiencing those changes, so we better be keep tasks on adapting to those activities. The disadvantages of an online business can be overcome by knowing the real cause of the problem and creating pragmatic strategies that are specifically catered in a different type of audience. So if, if that problem occurs when targeting this specific audience like the ages, so maybe the answer would also be in that situation. And I think language can be a great help to, you know, to give a solution to that problem. Lastly, language classrooms should effectively expose students not only to the academic purpose of a language, but we all know that that is why they are in school. Like, for example, they are there to know the basic of English and other languages, but also we have to expose them to the professional and more practical purposes of the language, not only English because we are a multilingual community, in the real life scenario. In the end, the research was able to give us the context. Why do we need to analyze and to understand the role of language, not only in our respondents' online business, but the role of language in general? Because at the end of the day, language will always be part of our everyday human activity. We are now at the end of my research presentation. The research will not be completed without the following references. Thank you so much for listening. See you on my next video presentation.